Hello everyone, I'm your Gibbs, and we are playing another casual game, another puzzle game. This one happens to be called Grim Tales The Bride. This will be the first game. Uh, I'll also be following up with the second Grim Tales um, game. I forget the name of it off the top of my head, but anyways, this is part one, if you will, and there'll be a part two coming very soon. Uh, we need to actually create our name here. Because we, we are not player. I guess we'll do a new one. There we go. Your Gibbs, of course. And here we are. Let's play! Uh, what do we got for options here? We've got casual... News players prefer quicker reveal of the mystery. It's advanced. I've never actually seen two or three options. Normally I've only ever seen two. So, I typically play casual mode because I don't play these games to be challenged. I play them for fun. Uh, you could listen in on the story. Oh, I guess there is no voiceover. So this bride has fell over the bridge, or was pushed. The family mansion was plunged into impenetrable grief. But her body was never found. I must solve this mystery. Do you need interactive help? Why, yes I do. Click on the sparkling toolbox to examine it. Why, thank you very much. So the casual games, or the puzzle games, perhaps aren't for every gamer out there, but um, for those of you that have seen other videos on my channel, I tend to play quite a lot of these. I've recorded several Strange Cases games, I've recorded several Puppet Show games, and I'll continue to record the casual games because I actually enjoy them, and I hope you do too. So let's get into this. Uh, we have a basement gate here that looks locked. This gate leads to the basement. I'll have to open it. But uh, what do we have for inventory? Uh, nothing. We have a clock. That's missing its hand, it looks like. I need a small key to open the clock. Hmm, that's interesting. What about the door? The door is closed, perhaps if I find the missing object. Fair enough. See if there's anything else to read about before I... Aww, pretty butterfly. Oh, there's another one. That one's flying. Come back here. So it looks like we're good to go. Well, let's start finding then. Find all the items listed below. So for those of you that perhaps have never seen one of these types of games, this is the basic of it. This is the main game mechanic, where you have an item list, and you try to find it in these sort of uh, scenery in the back here. For those of you that have obviously played these types of games, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen these all before. Now, I don't know what your strategies are for these types of games, but I happen to employ the clicky-clicky until we can't click anymore strategy. And I just enjoy actually the challenge of thinking, hmm, what did the developers decide on having us be able to click? And that's about it. The other thing I will point out is I will use hints. And in fact, I typically will use them on the very last item to be found. Sometimes I play the meta game of trying to find it before the hint meter adds up. Now, what do we have left? We have a frog, a screwdriver, and a strawberry. So I'm going to assume the strawberry's red. I think that's a safe assumption, don't you think? No? And then we have a screwdriver and a frog. Oh, there's a screwdriver right in front of my face. So we need a frog and a strawberry. There's a strawberry, so what we'll actually do is use the hint for the last one. And there's Mr. Green Frog hiding in the green leaves. Perfect. 
congratulations you found all the hidden clues in this location and this object looks very useful beautiful so now we have an item in our inventory down here and I think this is where the adventure part of these types of games comes into play where you collect some inventory items or tools and you actually use them to interact with the environment open the inventory by pointing the cursor at it take the bass base relief stone and set it in the central cavity okay I'm not keen on having the inventory at the bottom of my screen here so we are ready to go into the main entrance let's have at it Woo, spooky <laughs> what the hell this guy is creepy I offer you a rare opportunity I will return you to the moments contained in Louisa's memories and step by step you will uncover the mystery of her death you will have the chance to save Louisa if you fail in your attempts to pass through her memories at any time, your soul will be mine. Are you willing to take that risk to save your sister? Sure. The first thing you must do is go to Louisa's bedroom and find her diary. Okay, creepy man. We will do that. Oh, and look, I see a key. So let's grab that key. The monstrous merchant dissolved into thin air. The demon vanished but left a key. Sweet, so now we have a key. To the entrance. Fireplace, anything interesting here? Hmm. Number five, what does that mean? I have to put out the fire before I can reach into the fireplace. <laughs> that seems logical. What about the shelf? Ooh. I don't know what we do here. Must have to spell something. Oh. I was going to try and spell Louisa, but I don't think there's the right letters there. Ballerina de lady, we will be back. Once we figure out what the code is. Okay, let's go back to the living room. Let's have a look at the piano. Oh wow, that's kind of neat. So I take it we need to know the song. I need to look for the treble clef. Okay. So we need something to put out a fire, a code for the ballerina doll, and the treble clef. I see a door here. I'm guessing that's where the key goes, but I don't want to go there just yet. I want to just look around a little bit more. What about this caution tape? I see the police are still investigating my sister's death. Hmm, I wonder if I can cut that at some point. I don't know. Let's get into the inventory. Key. On old fashioned door lock. And now we're off to Louisa's room. Sweet. Oh wow, look, it's all locked here. This cupboard, what do we have here? Why would someone lock up a cabinet so well? That is a little creepy. I need a tool. Okay. Casket. Looks like it needs a flower on top. A rose. There's an inset for a rose on top of the box. It may be... What? It, it, that's an intricate box. I suspect Louise invented the mechanism herself. So we need a rose for that. Let's look at the pillow. Oh, we found what looks like a diary of some sort. Whoa, what the heck, an old picture or a new picture? Oh, that's cool. There's the mysterious merchant. You have done well. You have entered the very day in which John Gray proposed to Louisa. A ring has always been a symbol of faith and devotion, but for you it will be the gateway to the next memory. So I need to find a key. Or, uh, sorry, I need to find a ring. John Gray's hand. Ooh. 
That's a big, big diamond. I think the demon was talking about this ring, but it's locked inside the jewelry box. If I knew where Gray hid the keys, I would open the jewelry box. Alright. What about Louisa's hand? Hmm, what's this? Ah, this bracelet was a birthday present to Louisa from our mother. But where's the ruby? Louisa's scent lingers in her clothes, and this glove must hold her scent as well. It's her signature perfume. Wow, that's interesting how they've added, like, several clicks. That's not a normal, well, in my experience, not a normal aspect of these kind of games. Ah, uh, yeah, I do see the bush over here. Uh, what do we have here? The fire is too strong. Oh, the fire is so strong, it could burn wet wood. I bet this fire could warm me up on a cold evening. Okay. To the church. Well, first of all, let's do another hidey ho here. Clicky clicky. Let's find stuff. Uh, whoa, what was that guy? Wooden figurine. Compact. So the uh, difficulty in the sceneries ratchet up <laughs> quite a lot for those of you that are new to these types of games. So if you're kind of watching this going, my god, this is kind of easy. Oh, they get very difficult later in the game. So. Alright, I think we're almost out of options here. Oh. So we've got a pear, a sun, and a snowflake. There's Mr. Snowflake, or Mrs. Snowflake, or Ms. Snowflake. A pear and a sun. So I'm assuming they mean sun like, as in it's sunny outside. A pear. Where is a pear? There's a pear. And then we will hint for the last one. Oh wow. Come on, hint, get off of there. That's not what I would have been looking for. Oh. You found all the hidden clues, and this object looks useful. Okay, half a sun. That was a heart. That was a ruby. That was something about wet wood. Cooking food. Ooh. Look at this guy. How gruesome. I don't mean to disrespect the dead, but I do need that medallion. Well, how do I get it? Oh, okay, I think it needs to be lowered over here. Let's look at the box. We'll take that. What is that? No, not the little rotunda. Oh. So, so far my only beef is that the inventory is at the bottom here. Oh. Gears. I see. I can start this mechanism if I can find the missing piece. Ah, right, so here's our first puzzle. However, we are missing the piece, so we need to get out of here and go find the missing gear. Yeah, okay. To the church. So, let's look at the termitory. A colony of termites settled at the entrance of the church. Hmm. That's interesting. I gotta keep an eye out for those loose items lying around. If the size of this termite mound is any indication, this mansion has been neglected for a while. I don't think I have anything worth. Uh. No. Oh, it looks like I need one more of those. Okay. What do we have here? door is locked and it's impossible to open the door without a handle. Guess what I have? I have Mr. Handle. And now it's time to go inside the church. Whoa, creepy. Holy man. I don't know. Do you think he looks holy? Can I grab this? This ancient weapon is stuck for sure, but if I can saw it out, the handle might be useful. Alright. I guess we need a saw. 
to the basement. Well, should we go talk to the holy man? I don't see much else what to do here. It's all cracked and open here. Oh, he's not alive. <laughs> or at least I don't think he's alive. He looks pretty dead to me. I see the key, but the priest won't give it to me. I can't unclench his fingers. The priest looks aggrieved? Maybe over the loss of his medallion? Um, I don't think this was it, no. Well, we'll take that cup. He's over his... Oh, I see, he's missing his medallion here. Okay, so I figure if we get the medallion, he opens his hands, we get half the heart. Sweet. Let's go downstairs. To a small room, huh? Oh, hello. A machete. I think we can use that to cut some stuff up top there. What in the world is this? The spot for a medallion is empty. Oh, there's our missing gear, guys and gals. We found it. The torch is jammed in the fish's mouth, and it's not easy to take. Okay, so we have the gear, but before we do that, let's just see what else we have here. The gravestone bears no dedication. It seems to be waiting for someone's name. Hmm. Fascinating. So before we go back to the church, let's go into the small room here. A bottle. Whoever lived here previously could have hidden a message in that bottle. So now I need a corkscrew. <laughs> wow, the tools are just adding up here, aren't they? So early in the game to be needing a bunch of stuff. Here's a bird. Or what used to be a bird. Nothing here I can grab, it looks like. Bird. I can't reach the medallion behind the bars. I need to knock it down and then probably... So now if they stopped feeding this parrot, wouldn't it have fallen over and not just kind of died on the spot? <laughs> or did it die and then somebody moved it down? I don't think I have any... I don't know, can my machete do it? No, that doesn't work. Okay. Let's go look at the cupboard here. Do I have this? Zake piece? No. What do we have here? One piece is missing. Which is also typical for these games. When you have a puzzle. Okay. Let's go and machete ourselves a stick here. Or a pole or whatever. Machete. Ow. Alright, I thought here I was thinking I was all smart. Well, I guess we need to do the gear then. Put the gear in place. Alright, so what do we have for info here? It's necessary to set the gears in the right places. If the gears start moving, it means it's in the right place. Ah. Uh, Okay, well, we need a relatively big one here, no? Nope. Maybe over here? No, that doesn't look right either. Do you think the teeth matter? Because that looks like that's pretty close. Nope. I figure a small one has to go here, no? Try to see if there's a... Oh, okay. That one worked. If there's a way to tell just by looking at it. That one doesn't look right, no. That one? Okay. So I don't think anything will reach, right? No. See if any of these short ones reach. No. So I think this is pretty obvious it has to be the big one. 
So then the question becomes which one goes where? I don't know, that doesn't... No, it's not reaching. Okay. And you'll notice down here that the skip is active. But for these puzzles, I'm going to try to do all of them unless I get stuck on something that's just awful. Which has happened once or twice in the five games that I've recorded. Uh, we're ready to go. Beautiful. So now we get... Oh, I think I know what this is. This is for our holy man. So let's go inside and talk to our holy man. And give him what he wants, which is this thing here. Yep, that's pretty creepy. So now we have half a heart. Let's just go down here quickly. Nothing's changed. So, oh, that's the sun amulet. I don't understand how I'm supposed to knock it down. Goblet? No. You'd think a machete would work, but I guess it doesn't. Oh, you know what? Maybe the machete works here. No. Goblet? No. Okay, well, um, I guess we'll go back outside. Oh, shoot. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that would work on the f torch here. There's got to be a reason for this. I need to... Oh, okay, okay. That needed a, that thing there. Mosaic piece. I don't know what that mosaic piece is for. I don't know. Oh, if I haven't mentioned it to you guys before. Uh, this is blind. <laughs> I've never played the game before. So you may see me fumbling around with uh, different things because I am um, I'm figuring this out with you guys. Well, I, I I figure we can put this on here, right? I don't know if that's gonna help us at all. It won't work. Are you crazy? What? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, I guess we have to find the other piece first. Torch. Uh, I don't know. Nope. So much for that plan. She needed a ruby of some sort, right? Hmm. 